Hi, Team Persevere. Today we are reading chapters 17 and 18 in Holes. We're working on complex characters today. That is our reading strategy. Complex, what does this word mean? Hopefully you've heard this word before, complex. But now I would like you to write in the chat, what does this word mean to you? Pause the video to discuss. Complex means having many different and connected parts. Characters are complex. Just like humans, characters are complex. We show different character traits, feelings, and emotions depending what we're going through. So for example, myself, I am complex. I have many different emotions and traits I can use to describe myself. For example, I like to think of myself as a really hard worker. I give my best effort in what I do. But there's also times that I might be a little nervous or stressed. There's sometimes that I'm very happy and other times that I might be feeling a little down. We all have different emotions and different types of traits that we could use to describe ourselves. And the same can be said for characters. As you read today, I would like you to be thinking of the ways that our main character, Stanley, is complex. Write down examples of how Stanley is a complex character. What different character traits, feelings, and emotions does he show throughout the reading today? So right now, I would like you to either get a whiteboard in your marker or a notebook and a pencil so that you can stop and jot different ways that Stanley shows he's complex during this reading. Pause the video to get those materials. We are going to begin reading now. For the next week and a half, the boys continued to dig in and around the area where X-ray had supposedly found the gold tube. They widened X-ray's hole, as well as the holes armpit and squid had been digging until the fourth day when all three holes met and formed one big hole. As the days wore on, the warden became less and less patient she arrived later in the morning and left earlier in the afternoon. Meanwhile, the boys continued to dig later and later. This is no bigger than it was when I left you yesterday, she said after arriving late one morning, well after sunrise. Well, have you been, what have you been doing down there? Nothing, said Squid. It was the wrong thing to say. At just that moment, Armpit was returning from a bathroom break. How nice of you to join us, she said. And what have you been doing? I have to, you know, go. I had to, you know, go. The warden jabbed at Armpit with her pitchfork, knocking him backwards into the big hole. The pitchfork left three holes in the front of his shirt and three tiny spots of blood. You're giving these boys too much water, the warden told Mr. Pendansky. They continued to dig until late afternoon, long after the other groups had finished for the day. Stanley was down in the hole along with the other six boys. They stopped using the wheelbarrows. He dug his shovel into the side of the hole. He scooped up some dirt and was raising it up the to the surface when Zig Zig's shovel caught him in the side of the head, he collapsed. He wasn't sure if he passed out or not. He looked up to see Zig Zig's wild head staring down at him. I ain't digging up that dirt, Zig Zig said. That's your dirt. Hey mom, Magna called. Caveman's been hurt. Stanley brought his fingers up to the side of his neck. He felt his wet blood and a pretty big gash just below his ear. Magnet helped Stanley to his feet. Just then, uh, 
Stan Magnet helped Stanley to his feet, then up and out of the hole. Mr. Stir made a bandage out of a piece of his sack of sunflower seeds and taped it over Stanley's wound. Then he told him to get back to work. It is a nap time. When Stanley returned to the hole, Zig Zig was waiting for him. That's your dirt, Zig Zig said. You have to dig it up. It's covering up my dirt. Stanley felt a little dizzy. He could see a small pile of dirt. It took him a moment to realize that it was the dirt which he had which had been on his shovel when he was hit. He scooped it up, then Dig Dig dug his shovel into the ground underneath where Stanley's dirt had been. So at this point, how do you think Stanley is feeling right now? What different emotions or character traits does he display? Pause right here to write down these notes in your notebook or on your whiteboard. The next morning, Mr. Sir marched the boys to another section of the lake and each boy dug his own hole, five feet deep five feet, and five feet wide. Stanley was glad to be away from the big hole. At least now he knew just how much he had to dig for the day. And it was a relief not to have other shovels swinging past his face or the warden hanging around. He dug his shovel into the dirt, then slowly turned to dump it into a pile he had to make his turns smooth and slow. If he jerked too quickly, he felt a throbbing pain just above his neck where Zig Zig's shovel had hit him. That part of his head between his neck and his ear was considerably swollen. There were no mirrors in camp, but he imagined he looked like he had a hard boiled egg sticking out of him. The remainder of his body hardly hurt at all. His muscles had strengthened and his hands were tough and calloused. He was still the slowest digger, but not at all as much, but not all that much slower than Magnet. Less than 30 minutes after Magnet, Magnet returned to camp, Stanley spat into his hole. After his shower, he put his dirty clothes in his crate and got out his box of stationery. He stayed in the tent to write a letter so Squid and the other boys wouldn't make fun of him for writing to his mother. Dear Mom and Dad, camp is hard, but challenging. We've been running obstacle courses. We have to swim long distances on the lake. Tomorrow we learn. He stopped writing as Zero walked into the tent. He returned to his letter. He didn't care what Zero thought. Zero was nobody. To a rock climb. I know that sounds scary, but don't worry. Zero was standing beside him now, watching him write. Stanley turned and felt his neck throb. I don't like it when you read over my shoulder, okay? Zero said nothing. On this page, we witness kind of a change in Stanley, how he's speaking. What change do you notice? And how could we Think of this as a different way he's complex and add it to our notes. Pause the video to discuss. I'll be careful. It's not all fun and games here, but I think I'm getting a lot out of it. It builds character. The other boys. I don't know how, said Zero. What? Can you teach me? Stanley didn't know what he was talking about. Teach you what? To rock climb? St Zero stared at him with penetrating eyes. What, said Stanley. He was hot, tired, and sore. I want to learn to read and write, said Zero. Stanley let out a short laugh. He wasn't laughing at Zero. He was just surprised. All this time, he thought Zero was reading over his shoulder. Sorry, he said. I don't know how to teach. After digging all day, he didn't have the strength to try and teach Zero to read and write. He needed to save his energy for the people who counted. You don't have to teach me to write. Standing there. Mike Arnold, please call 4010. Mike Arnold, 4010. You don't have to teach me to write, said Zero, just to read. I don't have anybody to write to. Sorry. Stanley said again. His muscles and hands 
were the only parts of his body that had toughened over the past several weeks. His heart had hardened as well. He finished his letter. He barely had enough moisture in his mouth to seal the stamp, seal and stamp the envelope. It seemed that no matter how much water he drank, he was always thirsty. So again, characters are complex. Stanley is a complex character. What different character traits, feelings, and emotions did he show during the reading today? So right now you are going to have another minute or two to write down examples. And it can even be examples from earlier in the story, earlier chapters. How is Stanley complex? What are the different traits, feelings, and emotions? Feel free to use your blue character traits sheet for help. 